Soon after being released from prison, her main character, Rex, tries to escape his reputation by taking a trip to Finland. Now, soon upon arriving, he is taken captive by a family of psychopaths. I'm going to leave the story there. It's far stranger <laughs> than that plot suggests. It is somewhat of a fairy tale in a way. It is insanely bizarre and just really demented, but in a light-hearted, fun way. It's, it's a really strange movie. Now, the thing about this movie that I thought was a nice fresh spin on the taken captive, trying to escape horror trope. Now, my favorite aspect in this movie is they, they utilize this character who is a, a veteran, a military veteran, so they display his sort of post-traumatic stress disorder as another character. It's his conscience. So a good majority of the movie is our character tied up in a basement thinking about how he can get out of this situation. Now it's the, the main actor playing dual roles, him talking to himself trying to figure it out. So it put a nice spin on that trope, that, that captive character trying to escape trope. It made it a lot more entertaining than just hearing a, a narration of the character thinking through what he wants to go through. He's actually talking it out, and, and it made it far more entertaining. Now, as far as direction and, and artistic style, there's nothing necessarily groundbreaking here, but this movie is entertaining throughout. There was not a second of this movie that I was like, let's get this pace going faster. It's extremely entertaining. It's extremely fast paced. The script is so fresh and witty, but it's also incredibly bizarre. I, I would say if you are a fan of movies such as Cabin in the Woods or more recently Ready or Not, it, it's very similar uh, tone and vibe to those movies. More so Ready or Not. It very much reminded me stylistically of that movie. Ready or Not is a, is a I enjoy that movie more than this one, but this is such a solid, fresh take on a on a trope of kidnapped trying to escape. You know, we've seen that countless times in horror movies, and I thought this one was extremely fresh, especially utilizing a fairy tale aspect. I thought that was really cool. It is also set up in a way that it could be a franchise. Apparently, it's planned out to be a trilogy. I really hope to see. The second and third movie get made as I had a blast watching this movie. Those are my thoughts on Bloody Hell. I'm going to give this movie an 8 out of 10. Let me know in the comments what you thought about it. And if you have any other movies that are this tone of horror comedy, let me know. Leave them in the comments below. I'm, I'm always up for some suggestions. And that's all I have to say about this movie. I really enjoyed it. I'm so happy I stumbled across it. Consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you want more reviews and reactions, I like to do reviews of more hidden gem type of movies, so please consider subscribing. As always, stay safe out there and continue loving cinema.